Hey everybody, my name is Shauna and welcome to my Shauna Mawa channel. Today is Tuesday, you know what that means. Tuesdays and Fridays are my growing days. It is good to be back here and recording twice a week again. I just want to say thank you to everybody who has subscribed to my channel or is just taking time of their day to watch or listen. It's really up to you. I have this YouTube channel for fun. It is just something I do to keep me busy because I do live on disability. A lot of people assume that I have the lavish lifestyle, I live the luxury life, I get special treatment. Um, that is not true. I have never been on a cruise ship. I have never been to Hawaii. I don't go traveling overseas. I have only been to the United States and anywhere that's near my city. So I don't know why people are making assumptions that I am super rich. I just can't go on a shopping spree and ride a limo or go on a private jet. That is not what living on disability is like. And um, it's not just sleeping in every day and getting to do whatever I want. That's a complete misconception. It's difficult. I struggle daily with my speech, my balance, my memory. It's not fun. I don't know why people assume that it is. Fetal alcohol syndrome is the disability that I have. You cannot see it. Um, every case is different. So just because I have FAS doesn't mean the next person who has FAS is going to be exactly like me. We are all completely different. And um, I have some very exciting updates to share with you guys after. But first, I just want to say rest in peace to Jerry Springer. I know a lot of us grew up watching him. And um, it's, I don't know, a lot of people are saying, oh, the Jerry Springer show was fake, it was all staged, and then some people said, oh, it was completely real. Uh, that's really up to you. It was entertainment for me. So yeah, I grew up watching Jerry Springer, just like many of you probably have, because a lot of us stayed home when we were sick and watched Jerry Springer or even The Maury Show or like anything on TLC. So any shows like that, um, they were always just like entertainment. I feel like TV, like shows and movies are just not the same as it used to be. So I do miss the good old days. I sound so old when I say that. So yeah, my condolences go out to Jerry Springer, uh, like his friends and family. So rest in peace to Jerry. And uh, I want to say happy birthday to Bam Bam from GOT7. I've been a K-pop fan for a very long time. I just had a K-pop dream last night. Nothing dirty. Just, I don't know why everybody wants to think that way. Um, oh my god, I cannot... I didn't think that I was going to be making a video on his birthday. I don't really have anything to celebrate. I'm probably going to get Starbucks later. But other than that, happy birthday to Bam Bam. He's my bias in uh, GOT7, and if you have been a K-pop fan for as long as I have, you know that you can't just have one bias, okay? Like, your bias list is going to get ruined. Not everybody's into K-pop, but that is perfectly fine. You are not being forced to. Oh my god. Okay, so huge updates. I'm gonna put that in the description box. Actually, no. I want to talk about Bam, uh, Big Mouth. I was about to say Bam Bam, but I already did. I love you. Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, Big Mouth. Um, just a sec. Allergy season is supposed to be really bad this year. Okay, so if you have seen that show called Big Mouth on Netflix, that is going to be renewed for season seven, and then I think they're going to finish with season eight. Human Resources is going to be renewed for season two. No, not renewed. Well, season two is coming, and then I don't know if 
a spin-off series is coming. I will have to keep you guys updated because Big Mouth is honestly one of my favorite shows. Not only is it relatable, it's funny, it's sad. Oh my gosh, I cried uh, in some episodes and I'm just like, oh my God, like it's such a good show. I don't know why people hate it because they're like, oh, that is so gross. I'm like, I'm pretty sure all teenagers are kind of the same way or a little bit relatable to at least one character in the show. Um, so huge updates, huge, huge, huge updates. So for a long time, I have been wanting to share my story about what it's like to have fetal alcohol syndrome. And I wanted to do whatever I could to spread awareness. Well, my PSW messaged me shortly before recording this video. And she gave me some big updates that I wanna share with you guys. So she knows a teacher who wants me to share my story with her class. So I think this means that I'm going to be sharing my story with students. I cannot wait because fetal alcohol syndrome is such an understudied disability. Not everybody knows about this. It's pretty much caused by when a woman drinks alcohol or abuses drugs during pregnancy. No matter how much alcohol she drinks, it's going to affect her fetus, like, in one way or another. It is so misunderstood. A lot of people think that, oh, that's not a disability, it's not real, I can't see it. Well, every case is different, and it has been my dream to share my story with students and to spread awareness because people need to know about this. It is completely preventable. It is difficult to live with and some people assume that my life is a lavish lifestyle, like I'm living a luxury life. I have not once been overseas. I have never been to Hawaii. I've never been on a, um, a cruise ship. I've never been to Mexico, Europe, Asia, like Anywhere in the world, I have never been anywhere in the world except for the United States. And that's only a very few places like Detroit, Chicago, and Cedar Point. I don't understand why people make the assumption that, oh, everybody who lives on disability is living a life of luxury, vacation, they get to sleep in and do whatever they want. No, I have to get permission to leave the city. So. Yeah, well, depends on what the situation is. So no, living life on vacation, living life on disability is not a vacation. See, I already screwed up my words. I cannot wait to get this started. I have to see how long I've been recording for. Oh my God, eight minutes, I don't have like, I only have a little bit of time to sh share. You guys some stuff. Okay, very quickly, I don't know if I shared this before. Block B bracelet, eBay, hopefully you guys can see it. Uh, I got some asexual bracelets. So um, if you guys didn't know that I'm part of the Pride community, I'm ace. So these are from Spencer's, by the way. I got this little mini Hello Kitty figure. She's dressed in a uh, unicorn onesie. Hopefully you guys can see it. Um, I hope to see you guys next time because anything can happen. I think this is the end for today's. I think this is the, this is the end for today's video. I hate my speech. Ah, okay. I hope to see you guys next time because anything can happen. You guys know what to do. Please continue to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like this video, comment down below, turn on the bell for notifications. Uh, my social media links are down in the description box below with anything that I forgot to say. I hope to talk about more on my disability um, as much as I can. I hope to see you guys next time. Oh my God, I gotta go. All right, peace.